It's September 13th, 2017. This is a recovery of number 12. There's the dome height, length, width, the mass. This one was pretty difficult to identify because it was completely covered with mud. I actually put water all over it and kind of had to scrub it to see, even to get its shell pattern and identified it really by the shell pattern here. I put some Krylon on it again, but again, that doesn't, uh, this was put on here recently, just today, and here it is from less than two months ago, and you barely can see it, so. Marking doesn't necessarily work. So, I looked at some old photos to identify the shell pattern. And also I measured the dome height width and length with the uh, caliper there's the measure of the mass these used to be sold by Harbor Freight and you can get them elsewhere on the internet and for the dome height I measure the largest dimension I can measure across here that seems to be one of the things that's very good to identify the length they go from overall this dimension that's a little bit hokey in the sense that they tend to get gnawed on and the width tends to go ahead and be a little bit not as a good thing to use for identifying because they tend to get chewed on like there's some shell damage right there probably been bitten on. This is one of the youngest turtles I've got in the study. And this whole thing looked like it was all covered with uh, dirt in the sense that it was rust color. And so you couldn't see any of the identification of the pattern. And I took a hose and scrubbed this with a, basically a toothbrush and still it's barely there. That particular mark there right there shows up real well an older photo plus the pattern right here and this particular one at first when they're small it's hard to identify if they're male or female it does have a decent undercut under there this could be a male it's hard to tell that's why I didn't put on what it was. And what's interesting here is the width here is 90, and here it is 98. I've measured that three times today. Just as a double thing, and then the length going from 111 to 122, which is a good amount. Centimeter more. There's the dome. I haven't tried an RFID with these things, which may be better because sometimes they get run over or the harder to identify. And there's the crack. This is the recovery data, which I'll go through an update. A little bit later to the latest dome height, length, and width, and the weight, and then the date. So I'll go through and look. That was 59. Generally, they don't get smaller. So number 12 came up as a prime suspect. Number 15 or 19. And it's probably not going to double in weight, so 19 can get ruled out. Uh, 15 was the next possible one and then there's 12 it can also be a new entry that's why it's good to compare with older photos and right now it's moved just in talking about 20 feet away it's all but
That's one of the first ones I've seen here in September because it's been very cool here. It's been about the coolest September in the last 20 years here, so they tend to stay hidden in the morning, don't come out as much.